Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel DevOps with Cloud. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can deploy uh, both public as well as uh, private Docker images into OpenShift, okay? So we will be taking uh, public as well as private images from Docker Hub and we'll be seeing how you can deploy it to the OpenShift as a deployment. And we'll be creating a services followed with a routes in order to access a particular application. Okay, let me show you that. Uh, before that, you need to have a Docker images. Okay, this Docker image needs to be pushed into your uh, uh, repository. Like in our case, it is a hub.docker.com where you can push all your Docker images, whether it might be public images or else private images as well. Okay, so I have already created a image uh, where it is. Uh, let me show you. Oh, shit. One second, guys. Mm, okay. If you see, this was my Docker repository. And uh, I'm having two images. These are all the various images. But for now, I'll be showing these two images. This is just a Python application. It will be having some static already uh, content that has already been created during the process of creating that particular Docker image. So this was the public image. And if you can see, this is the private image. OK, this is the public image. And next time, um, there is already a OpenShift cluster that is running. Okay, and if you can see, I have already logged into my cluster. And as of now, there are no uh, projects and no applications are being hosted inside this project. So now in order to deploy a particular application, there are many ways that you can do that. So what are the ways? So first thing you can directly deploy a particular application based upon based on the programming language by using a browse catalog option. Like you can select the catalog from here and you can deploy it accordingly. And the other option is like you can deploy a specific image like Already, if you are having a Docker image in your repositories, you can use that particular Docker image to uh, create a deployments. And other one is you can use YAML files, like the same way you create a YAML files for Kubernetes. You can do some tweaks and there, here and there, and you can deploy the same YAML files using the OC commands from your uh, command line utility as well, or else you can directly import it from the console as well. Okay. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can uh, deploy Docker images. Uh, and create a deployments. So first thing uh, I can see as of now, there are no uh, projects as well as no applications running inside my cluster. And uh, what I'll be doing is I, I'll be going here and clicking on the deploy image. And if you can see there are a couple of ways you can use the image stream tags. As of now, there are no tag image stream tags in my cluster. So I'll be creating an image name one. And uh, if, you, if you go to your particular repository, okay. And for, let's take the public one first and uh, copy the repository name and the tag name. For example, if you see DevOps, this was the one, copy. And I'll be pasting here. And uh, what I will be doing is I'll be taking the green tag. See, there are multiple tags here. I'll be taking the green tag, OK? And entering the green one here, OK? And you can search for the particular image. Yeah, if you can see the image got fetched and it was having a 175 MB of your image size with eight layers. And this was being pushed two months ago. And these are the various services. And if you see here, when this particular image is being deployed, OpenShift itself creates a deployment for us. The deployment configuration, we call it in OpenShift. At the same time, it will be creating a service, okay? That means like uh, in order to create a deployment, for example, if you're comparing it with Kubernetes, in Kubernetes, you'll be first deploying Next, you'll be creating a service followed by in order to access the service, you'll be using a ingress controller, right? To have this uh, URL access and all. So same way in OpenShift, when you are creating a deployment, it will be directly creating a deployment for us followed by service also will be getting created. Okay, so I, I'll be, you can see, I will be renaming it as uh, public hyphen deployment, just for differentiating the private and the public ones. And I'll be clicking on the deploy button. It is very simple, guys. Like OpenShift is just a cluster wrapper on top of Kubernetes. So it has given a beautiful console where you can take the advantage of the consoles and you can deploy images on the go. It's very faster for us. Okay. Uh, next, if you can close that, you can see my deployment was running and there is a pod already already running in my cluster. Okay. If I go into the deployment and if I go into a specific deployment version and I can access to my terminal. Okay. And if you see the logs of this particular pod. Uh, this is just a Python application as I told. The server is running. 
okay so everything is fine the server is running and my deployment is fine and i'm having my pod also but how can i access this pod okay if you go to your applications inside there is services already there is a service that got created with the public hyphen deployment and the selectors are already been taken care okay and the cluster ip is given and the 8080 the port that i have mentioned in the docker file as well as the service as well but how can i access this particular application okay in that we can create a routes okay so if i go to services there is already one service if you click on the service you will be getting an option to create a routes okay if you see the routes create route and you can create a public deployment route and you can directly click on the create button if you are having any host name that you want to integrate with this particular deployment and i mean particular application you can integrate that as well and this is my root path there are no specific paths available so i can specifically mention the root and i am having 8080 port and uh, this was the labels i'm using i can go and create so the public if i get to overview this deployment is now having a, a url right if i click on that url i am able to access my application right this is a green tag which i i shown you before this is just a python application which is having a google cloud uh, this is my uh, i use this docker images for my google cloud trainings and all so this was a simple application okay so we need to see like uh, till now we have only i have shown you like how you can deploy a public images into docker into openshift okay this is very simple right so now let's see how you can deploy a private image inside into your openshift because in your organizations and all you will be deploying only the private images you won't be using a public docker images or public some sort of registry images rather you will be only using a private images within which can be accessed within your applications i mean within your organizations even you can't access those images outside your cluster or outside your organization so how you can create that i'll be showing the same path i am going to deploy image and if you go to my docker hub here again there is a private image right if you see python underscore private let me copy the same path again private and i am only having a blue tag just to differentiate the public and private images i am having a blue so i am using the image name colon blue the same i will go and click on search if you see here it was not able to image the uh, load the image because this is a private image right it was unable to load this image as it doesn't know how where to communicate and how to fetch the data i mean fetch the images because we haven't mentioned any sort of credentials anywhere at the same time this is a private image and this cannot be accessed using public ones so how can i use that and i mean how you can uh, uh, create a deployment using a private image okay if you see here to deploy an image from a private repository you must create a image pool secret okay with your image reg uh, registry credentials that means you need to create a secret that secret should contain your registry name followed by username and password and from there you can integrate that to a specific deployment and if i click on the create a image pool secret it will be giving all this data uh, i'll be giving uh, uh, docker secret okay and this was the important part image registry server address so where are my images hosted it's in docker hub right so i need to give the specific registry address of my docker hub if you are using your jfog repository or google container registry or some sort of a registries of your own then you need to mention your own address here but as i am using docker and if you are also practicing on the same docker hub you can also use the same docker.io is the registry address and username is the one that you will be using in order to log into your docker hub okay if you are not having any sort of uh, uh, credentials create one account in the docker hub and try to push your image over here so i will be entering my username which is devops with cloud hub and my password and my mail id it's devops with cloud at the rate of gmail.com and i'll be creating the secret okay this secret is the same uh, is similar one that we create in kubernetes like we create secrets and config maps right secrets are nothing but in order to save your credentials or sort of uh, encrypted values and all in your sensitive data and all you, we use secrets but here for image credentials and all we are creating a secret specific for that registry only so where i can view the secrets inside the openshift if i go to resources i can go for secrets so you can see there are many secrets over here and this secret which has been created a few seconds ago which is a docker config json one and i can open the secret and if you click on the reveal secret button your password will be visible so that you can be checking whether you entered the correct password or not okay so now i have entered my secret credentials which contains the registry 
from where it needs to pull the Docker image as well as the username and the password of a specific Docker Hub. So now let's try to uh, deploy the same image again. I'm clicking on that deploy image, image name, and uh, I'll be using the same image, the Python private one with a tag as blue. Okay, if I search now, you can see right DevOps with Cloud Hub private uh, Python private blue. Now it was able to fetch the data. I mean, fetch the image because I have entered, a, I have created a secret which contains my credentials of a particular Docker Hub. Okay, so I will be doing the same again. I will be naming it as private hyphen uh, deploy. Okay, and I will be keeping this as a uh, defaults deploy. And you can see if you go to deployments overview, you'll be seeing two deployments. One is the private deployment and the other one is the public deployment. Okay, and the, this public de uh, private deployment is already having a service internet internet uh, internally traffic which is a cluster IP again. So which is having a service again here, right? So and next we can create a route from here. Previously I shown you, right? Uh, if you go to services and from there you can create a routes, but uh, from the deployments overview, but page also you can create your own routes. Let me create a route here with the same details and all. This is a private deploy and everything is fine. I will be creating that. So once that is done and you, you have successfully created your routes here, okay, you can go to the overview tab and you can have your um, address here, right? This is a private deploy. And if I click on that, you can see the blue image got loaded. I mean, the blue, blue background, which is a tag got hosted and the private one is having a green one, right? So this as simple. This is very simple, guys. If you understand the flow, that's what ha what's happening inside that. It's almost similar to the Kubernetes, but it's but it's easier compared to the Kubernetes deployment. For example, if you want to do the same inside your Kubernetes cluster and all, what you'll be doing is you'll be creating initially as I told a deployments.yaml file, okay, and you will be deploying it, and uh, you'll be creating all the respective parameters like the survey, uh, the labels and all, and the image names, the the port numbers and all and after that you'll be creating a service and this service you can keep it as load balancer if you are using any sort of a cloud provider this cloud provider will be giving you a specific ip address where you can access this application okay or else if you want to use it with a specific host or something you can create an ingress controller which can be an nginx ingress controller or any sort of ingress controller of your choice and from there you can access a specific service and the deployment can be accessible using a specific host ips but if you compare it with OpenShift, it is very simple. You can directly create a deployment using a console and creating a deployment will also be creating a service parallelly. There is no need for you to specifically create a service. And next step, you can create a route if you want to access your application across the globe. And from here, you can able to access a specific application with a spe which is already been tagged to a specific services. Okay, so this is how you can uh, access your public as well as private Docker images inside OpenShift. I mean, the deployment can be done in this way. You can use your own other ways also. You can create a YAML files and you can use a OC commands or kubectl kube commands also in order to create a deployments, right? And uh, yeah, because this is very important. Uh, because in your organizations and all, you, can't, you won't be deploying your public images. Rather, you will be deploying only the private images. So we should be aware of how you can deploy your private images in OpenShift also. Okay, so that's it uh, for now. Uh, if you like the video, uh, uh, please share to your friends and do subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos on the OpenShift, Google Clouds and all. Yeah, uh, see you again in the next video. Till then, bye for now.